Mwalimu niachie huyo. Eh, ni huyu tena. Mwalimu, leta huyo. Sijua vikwa kinisumbua. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Joki, but you can call me Zipi. If you are new to my channel, if this is your first time here, hi, feel free to sit on the vibe, look around. If you like what you see, subscribe, like this video and share with a friend or two. So, as you've seen from the title of the video, today I'm going to be detangling my hair, pre-pooing it as I give you a little story time. We're going back, way back in high school. <laughs> I undid my twist last week and um, during the week I could not be able to detangle it all at once because I didn't find time. So I used to pick one um, twist and just detangle it. So right now we do not have a lot of hair that is um, not uh, is not detangled but i'm still gonna do it anyway because i want to pre poo and then we're gonna wash my hair but that's going to be in another video but today we are detangling pre pooing and story time let's get into it so i'm going to be working in sections as always i love working in sections and um this is the oil that i'm using this is a combination of amla oil and coconut hair oil and um, this is what I'll be using to detangle my hair if I find um, a twist that is pretty tangled. I'll not force anything so I'll just spray this and um, my clips to hold back my hair. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I have warmed up this oil. I want to do a little hot oil treatment as I do my pre I I honestly don't pre my hair every time I want to wash it. But I have not washed my hair in one and a half... No, in one month and one week now. So... And I've, and I've been wearing my protective styling all that time. So I thought, why not do a little something for my hair before I wash it? And that's why we are doing the pre treatment slash hot oil treatment. So I'm just going to detangle my hair as I tell you a little story time that goes back um, to way back when I was in high school. It's been years since I was in high school. Juicy, I was counting the years when I was in high school and hair, it, it's been long, over five years. Imagine over five years. Oof. Anyway, so this time I was in form two. I don't, I don't think I'll mention the name of the school, but those that know me like on personal level, they know what high school I went to, but yeah. But I'll not mention it here. So this time I was um, in Form 2. And you know how in Form 2 um, you're wild. You just, it's like you want to explore everything, you know. So in my high school, I don't know if this was um, for every high school. But the high school that I went to and some that I know of, we, we had a boys school. So we were a girls school. I went to um, a girls boarding school, high school. And then um, our neighboring school was our boys' school. Then we had, um, it was some sort of like, um, our class had a class over there. So girls in my class had boyfriends and boys in that class, but in that school. Let me paint that picture for you. So say, for example, I'm in Tunjoki. Tunjoki. I don't want to say the class that I was in. <laughs> so I'm in 2N. N is for Njoki. So I'm in 2N. And then in that boys' school, there's... Um, a 2G for Gitahi. So we'd be like a couple class. Does it make any sense? So that we are friends and then some people are dating, the rest are friends. So um, of course it wasn't for everyone at Kilamtu in the class. No, it was just a couple of us. I think we were around maybe maybe seven or ten. Some were not okay with it. Some were, you know how high school is. Si Kilamtu, you know, si Kilamtu and Abambika and stuff come here. Anyway, so um we'd write letters um to each other we'd write big ups and then we used to have um this auto book we had written and let me tell you hey <laughs> that auto book was so beautiful it was so beautiful it was decorated i don't know who ended up with that auto book i wonder who has it i wonder if they still have it that auto book um we had written in it it was decorated it had it had a lot of things i don't remember like page to page what it had but it had a lot of things and i had written in it my dad is watching this i'm so sorry <laughs> so um the school the boys school also they had their own auto book and they had written in it so um our fence near our washroom was um it wasn't farm i want to say it wasn't farm and um 
we would sneak not even sneak we would just as you're going to the washroom you'd literally see the the outside environment you know and then after we were done writing our auto book we put it up over our fence and then um the boys would come it was not like a communicated or calculated thing we just put it maybe at lunch break and then the boys would sneak from their school it was like a 40 minutes walk from their school to our school but we would not sneak we would, we, we never went outside our school environment we just put it on the fence and then the guys would come put theirs on the fence and take ours and then they would go sign it try it read blah 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 and then the exchange would happen again so um it wasn't just the auto book that uh we put out there when you would go to the washroom sometimes um during the day maybe you'd find the waiting out there or they'd send for you so maybe um they just see someone coming to the washroom any random time during the day and then they would tell them hey sasa and I wait zippy and then they'd come to my class and tell you unaitwa pale kwa fence then you'd go and then you just sit um near the washroom and talk to them um if they have letters they give them to you and then you deliver to whoever the letter belongs to so that's what used to happen for like a month or even more i don't remember so well it's been a lot of years this is first hand story by the way it's like i used to do it also It's not like that someone used to do it at nawaambia kitu kenye nilikuwa naambiwa hapana i used to do it also so um how how the teachers knew that that was going on i really don't know i think someone snitched on us akaenda kaambia sijui aliambia depa ama class teacher i don't remember either deputy ama class teacher and then tukaitwa sasa so, we were being called in one by one so that our stories you know how at teachers they call you inside moja moja so that if your stories don't align of course unajua utauza mtu mwingine at one point maybe story yako na mtu mwingine haita match so mwezi tu wote one so mnaitwa moja moja ndo everyone anajibu mashtaka yake kando kando but let me tell you something my crew and i Hey, we would pretend we would pretend mimi personally kwanza nilitwa uko ndani that's when etiquette is top notch iko 100% you don't even sit before they tell you to sit and then you pretend you don't even know what's going on you have no clue what's going on what you dream no meet one then they ask you do you know why you're here and then you say no I'm, i don't know why i'm here why am i here they tell you have a seat then you say thank you you sit down nicely and whoever snitched on us man alikuwa amepeana had dates then we go i don't know who had snitched on us i really am i know then now i've forgotten i don't know maybe we found out when i was um, back in high school but now ni mesa how anyway so they had this counter book this big big counter books that teachers have imechorwa ma mistari ndani ndani and then it's, it's like jina kila mtu imeandikwa hapo hivyo um who they've been talking to what time they've been going to the fans etc so tukaitwa wengi 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 eh hey, we were called wote i think hata wenye hawako suspects bado walikuwa tu anaitwa just to be asked and then they would snitch up on us you know mimi nikaitwa huko ndani and then obviously i said i don't know why i'm here and then i was told on this day and then this day um you had gone to the fans and you've and you've been speaking to this boy school um you've been exchanging letters and um exchanging sidrin and let me tell you something those people those teachers had letters how they had gotten even those letters i have no idea but lucky me hakuna letter yenye nilikuwa nayo but kwa big ups nayo nilikuwa but of course you can't you can't you can't beat me cuz at my name has appeared on a letter that's not even mine kwa big ups you know what big ups are let me just explain what big ups are just in case you don't know what big ups are ni pale hivyo chini naandika big ups to big ups to and then you dedicate a song it's like saying it's like greetings to your friends like telling your your girlfriend or boyfriend to say hi to the guys you know in that class or the girls you know in that class so obviously my name would appear there because i mean i had friends but i didn't have a boyfriend in that school So the letters they had it got to be gaps and then I said yeah we are friends we know each other we hung out when I'm at home and we went to the same primary school so I mean so say you, you know you can't beat me because I know people that's like <laughs> there's no case there just because my name is appearing on a big gap 
there's no case there. So I can be where is the auto book? Give us the auto book. Let me tell you, I had written like a whole page in that auto book. If that auto book had landed in the wrong hands, hey, <laughs> see, Jui, hey, I'd have gotten suspended. Wah. So, um, auto book, ilkwe me feature, auto book was very secure. It was actually safe. It was so safe. Nah, I don't think in Gepatkana. It was never actually Patikanad. So, apu ivo kwa kesi ya... Um, yeah, I went to fence. There I was guilty. But of course, I'm not going to admit that I'm guilty. I mean, listen to I don't know what you're talking about. When you saw the and you were of course, the case is strong. And then when you'd come out, you would end up class. Because you would tell the other people the questions you've been asked. Aki high school. Like any high school. High school was just too much. Like too much was going on. And then someone in that group, I don't remember who, Aka snitch. Like, you know how we are being summoned. Aka sema, Siji, Ulkuna Mbiwa, if you tell us who <laughs> lies, if you tell us who it is, we are going to let you go. If you tell us, like, if you tell us everything, we are going to let you go. Of course, they are not going to let you go. Only scare happy at they would let you go. That's just that's just a way of getting you to speak and still punishing you at the end of the day, which I think is twisted. Honestly, I think that trick was just it's twisted. It's not it's not okay to do that. So one person snitched, and then um, Akasema the name so you'll come and take out a book, and then. So Kesi Kakua stronger on my side and when you look at my auto book. But let me tell you, your auto book I quite patikana. He ku patikana auto book I kushikwa. We had hidden it so well. <laughs> so the auto book he got after our classes, it wasn't found. In the dormitories like beds are sissy and the boxes, our boxes was searched everywhere I could patikana. And you know where the auto book was? Inside the bed. Like how you've tandikad your bed now just under under the sheets because chini of course they would lift it up chini akitanda watangalia obviously so inside the bed they'll not check alafu they of course lift the pillow but who are, who who would think to check inside the bed ah we were smart we were smart so two got suspended one of them a couple expulsion because she had other issues and i guess also she was not performing so well so yeah yeah akakua nini expelled and also again i think tena there was an auto book she had written on her own like her own auto book ikashikwa iyo pe ilishikwa ilipatikana apilivo kwa fence so the case was just strong it was strong so yeye akapua to expulsion and then two other girls got suspended and yeah so in gine when the case was strong but your auto book ilishikwa so you have no proof they called our parents so my dad came and then they were calling our parents like it's an emergency. Hey, my dad said alikuja mbio akafunga kazi akakuja. He was so disappointed. Kai, I could see how disappointed he was in me. Alikuwa tu ananiangalia. And then they told them wanunue mabati at sindo tumearibu fence. So wanunue mabati wajenge your fence. So you are given a minute to speak to your parent up hivyo nje. Mimi kamongelesha and let me tell you me I took my parent to that fence. Nikamwambia unaona venye hii fence inaka shwali. Ata kweli ukiitwa hata wewe ukikuja tu hapa hivi utaona venye nje kuna car. Eh, hey, I was so convincing. I was so convincing my dad was like, "Eh, hey, nyewe kweli." He, lakini shule yenu. Eh. Me of course siezi jiuza ati makosa ikae ni kama ni yangu. Makosa ni ya shule. How is the mistake mine? Kama shule ijaunda fence, sasa hiyo ni makosa yangu aje. How? So, that's how much um Pretending and knowing what to say, when to say, and how to say it got me saved from your makosa. And knowing that there's no day at you will be let go because you've snitched, because you've snitched on other people. Hey, never snitch on your friends, my friend. When you tell me, it will it penduka ivi ikurudie wewe. But let me tell you, Mimi, I act. I can act. Hey, if there's something I can do is acting. I will act, nani? I can act. There was this time, I don't know, it was just like every year. I think I was in form 3 then. So every year, there was this time of the year where I think it was second term. Hakukwa na maji shule. So like, there was no water in school at all, at all. So, um, of course, tulikuwa tunaibiana t-shirts. We would steal people's t-shirts. So unatoka night preps um, a bit early and then you go to the wireline and just pick any t-shirt in your energy. 
wear it and that's it. So this time my friend and I tukaenda tukaiba t-shirt kwa wearline. <laughs> Saying that out loud just makes me feel like a robber. <laughs> oh my god, it makes me feel like sijui but it was normal. I think it was just normal back then because um there was no water. Alafu pia wewe zako zishaibiwa. Sasa utava na unajua tena uwezeenda kusema ati umeibiwa because now kwani wetu ndo unaibiwa you know you have to also still you have to learn when you to survive so technically you'd have to still too was like a shuffle unaibia huyu unaibia huyu unaiba hadi unaiba unakuta umeiba shati yako you know cuz you've stolen you've stolen you've stolen wewe umeibia huyu umeibia huyu and then the cycle just goes on and on and on and on and then one time unaiba shati yako and then you're like hey okay, okay so this time tukaiba We had not seen a shati on a mark. <laughs> so them mwenye shati akatupata kwa assembly tumevaa shati yake. Eh and this lady see we tried speaking to her but see she was mad like she was angry. So akatupeleka kwa depa. So sisi si tukaitwa tukaenda. And then um tukaambiwa nani uh, so and so amekuja kaniambia you have the nini. And we were wearing them actually. We didn't remove them cuz kutoa tena in a and, Obviously she said ata wamevaa so ukitoa ina cartoon kama you're guilty so of course you want to play that nini you want to play like you're not guilty because if you play like you're guilty then sasa so you will be punished like hit times 10 and let me tell you punishment ya kuiba in my school ilikuwa getting suspended and then you'd come back to do with the rim papers to do with what all those things and then you'd get i think suspension was for two weeks just kumbuke and then you be caned by all teachers when you come back siju wende ulime huko hivyo chini siju ufanye nini was just a lot was just a lot so si tukaenda and of course i was the spokesperson uh, kati ya mimi na my friend mimi ndio i i knew how to speak so mimi ndio nikaongea i was the one who was speaking all questions mimi ndio nikuwa najibu that time um i was sleeping in a dorm called Kenya dorm i think that's safe to say <laughs> So um the person who was sleeping up hivyo kando hakuwa so their bed was empty and then that lady alikuwa analala huko hivyo mwisho so what i i decided to do was to say that when i unhung my clothes of course now people used to put their clothes up hivyo so that you come back later like you unhung during lunch time of course you will not fold them your time so you come back later and then unazifold baadaye so what i said was Eh, but I'm smart. So what I said was um I I unhung my clothes nikazia kapo hivyo in that um bed and the one of that bed actually had died. Was so sad. Nikasema may she rest in peace. May she continue resting in peace. So yeah, nikasema um we put our clothes in that bed and it must it must have gotten mixed up you know it must have gotten mixed up i mean cuz si shati zote zinafanana and my deputy said yeah that 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 is true but then when you found out that the shirt ikuwa yako you should not have worn it ungempelekea so mean kasema we did we found out but it was too late it was only when she had approached us uh, during nini the assembly and we told her that tutamrudishia and then she said that uh, but you do know that i have to punish you like she had bought that story limited eh she had bought that story and say my heart was pounding if she had hey she had an idea of how scared i was that time <laughs> so uh, what she did was she said that i still have to punish you so that it serves as a lesson so that next time you're careful and you're like it's okay madam guy It's okay madam we understand we fully understand and she says, thank you for your cooperation but i'm not going to suspend you i'll just give you a leave out you go and buy two t-shirts one for you and one for her and then um that will be it Mimi nikachukua leave out yangu comfortably proudly with my head up in the sky nikaenda nyumbani with my friend tukaenda me i went to my dad's place of course yakaenda kwa mimi nikaenda kwetu nikaenda hata sikuenda nyumbani i just went to my to where my dad works and then nikamwambia and then again luckily in my school in form 3 you are told to buy new clothes like a whole set of uniform too 
uh, two if it's socks una buy two pairs if it's t-shirt you buy two more so i had not bought that me nilikuwa nimebuy two moja moja so me when i went uh, to my dad's place i just told him nimepoa leave out thank god ilikuwa imeandikwa to buy again it was just written to buy two shirts two school shirts and cg two socks cg ni nini so me just went nikampea nikamwambia sasa unaona bado tu nimefukunzwa cause and then i had to change nikava shirt yenye ilikuwa imebeat aki Wow, if my dad is is hearing this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but what choice did I have? Honestly, I didn't have a choice, but I'm sorry I lied. So, eh ni kavashati, I had to change ni kavashati yenye miraruka so that of course the story has to align. Hakuna venye nitaenda niseme ati nimetumbwa ni nunue shati mbili na nimeva shati mpya. The story had to align. Nilishikwa kwa parade na shati miraruka nimepewa leave out nikuja ni buy shati. That just makes a lot of sense. So yeah my dad bought akanunua me I went back to school and I went back so I later school car I went back of course nilizunguka zunguka town as usual <laughs> kazunguka zunguka town went back to school gave that me kaenda kwa deputy nikampea shati and then I said thank you madam um for sijui nini nini of course now eish acting If you want an actor niite tu cuz I'm a play my role I'm going to play that role and I'll play it so well utashanga So nikaenda nikapeana akasema thank you Zipora um akaita huyo lady akampea and of course me na huyo dem tukakosana but you know hmm. I genuinely think that I got away with so many things back in high school just cuz I could act Eh there's this other time in my high school ulikuwa ati ilikuwa when you found a mistake your kind <laughs> nasi atikind ya sijati pole pole it's like a beating it's like mob justice by all teachers which i think which i think is really ghetto i think that was just like the most ghettoest thing me I, i ever saw mwalimu niachie huyo eh ni huyo tena mwalimu eta huyo sijua vikwa kinisumbua ni nini ah anyway So this this one time eh mimi nilikuwa nimeshikwa kwa makosa na ilikuwa ile makosa yenye sasa huwezi ruka like there's nothing i would have done so eh nikaenda staff room go to the staff room that was like the most scariest words or a sentence the art teacher would tell you because you know that that's it ile vita utaenda kupigwa It's just <laughs> nothing like you ever seen before so you can just start from i didn't kneel down because again if you kneel down and then a teacher walks in they know that we patikana kwa makosa and then they start beating you without even knowing why you are there so me nikasimama tu then the teacher came eh hey, akaniambia akaniambia sijui atanipeleka kwa depa sijui nini nini so si akanipeleka kwa depa nikaenda and then ni sasa ilikuwa pat sasa ya kuchapo after nimejongea nimejongea umejongea of course unajua funny thing is hata sijui mbona you are given that opportunity to like kujiongea because at the end of the day so like you're going to forgive me but you will beat me you know so why am i even speaking for myself why am i giving my 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 part of the story and obviously even if it's true or not true you won't let me go even to if that shit is there akaniambia lie down kai if there's something i feel in this world It's my ass being whooped. My ass being whooped. Wa. Now go pa. Mimi kamwambia hapana just nichape tu kwa mkono. Mimi kwa nimeza kuchapo kwa mkono. Nikamwambia tu nichape tu kwa mkono. Akasema no, I want you to lie down flat. Nikamwambia I'm on my periods. In the face and he was a man. Nikamwambia I'm on my periods so it's going to be hard i mean again it's not like you're going to check so it's my word against what nothing so nikachapo kwa mkono and that was it kai the things that i got away with in high school just because i could act oh my god there are just so many so many instances i would have been beaten like a donkey But then just cuz I could speak my so just speak my mind I'm just speak for myself I got away with it. Wee! <laughs> anyway, let me finish this side and then I'll come back. Yeah. I'm done. I'm done with the two sides. So yeah, um I've used up everything in this bottle, all the oil that I had in there. 
and this is how we're looking I have also massaged my hair so I'm just gonna tie this up and then I'm going to let it sit for some time then I'll go wash my hair yeah so that's it we're done so I'm just I'm gonna let this sit for some time and then I'll go wash my hair that is going to be in another video because if I continue in this video it's gonna be way too long because this video is already too long this is the amount of hair that I have lost I know Nikki Doga I feel happy I feel like my hair is really healthy and strong that's making me so happy so yeah that's it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it see you in another video Bye bye. You're gone.